A Greek actor once said that standing center stage all alone to deliver one's lines is the most powerful position one can hold. And perhaps that's exactly what Masquerade Theatre was trying to emphasize. Have you ever imagined a lone actor on stage at a theatre festival? Well, Masquerade thought it about time to highlight solo performances in order to find and award true talent. This was the solo theatre festival that was held in honour of the World Theatre Weekend at the Alliance Francaise. <laughs> நடிகன் <laughs> Nine actors performed at this three-day theatre fiesta. And the curtain raiser was by Varun Ayer, who presented an interesting drama in Hindi called Eidga. Puri is about a four to five-year-old boy who um, is very uh, poor. He's often He lives with his grandmother. And uh, on the day of Eid, he visits the Kanu that comes to Mela that happens in uh, their, near their village, actually, a little away from their village, near a small town. And um, this boy looks at a chimta, he spots a pair of tongs that you use for cooking. And he realizes his grandmother doesn't have uh, tongs, um, that he burns her fingers every day when she uh, makes chapatis. Revolving around a character from the Mahabharata was Rashmi Rati, another piece in Hindi by Bala who captivated the audience with his strong dialogues and emotive facial expressions. Like my old teachers used to say, you know, a good performance should be seen, not heard. Mm -hmm. So uh, I don't think language is a great barrier, you know, uh, language is not a barrier at all as long as the communion exists. Uh, I think it's perfectly uh, fine for people. I mean, we see Spanish movies and French movies and we enjoy them. So why can't people of India enjoy a uh, play in the national language? Day one came to a close with an interactive Q&A session between the audience and the two actors. How different is it when you're doing a solo performance? Well, uh, when I'm doing a solo performance, uh, when I'm giving the feedback, there is only me and no one else. <laughs> uh, it, I mean, I, I find it easier to work on a solo because when you are working with actors, you have to be uh, that much more articulate you know, in order to make sure that they comprehend what is it that you have in your mind. So it is a little, I mean, solo is easier in that sense. Throughout, it's almost like the author is trying to glorify Karna, and which is pretty much, uh, I mean, a lot of things which have happened to him are tragic. So, I mean, what, what's the point of that? I think why Jenkar has put in that speech there is because Arjuna is uh, getting scared. Mm -hmm. He feels that killing an unarmed warrior is wrong. And he is kind of, uh, his hands are shaking. So I think Arjuna also needs to be reminded of all the, you know, the evils which have been done against them so that he regains his strength to strike Karna when he is down. This was Masquerade's way of turning the spotlight on some of Chennai's best theatre artists. Well, that was a lot of fun, I must say. And so was my journey here on Shift Focus. Well, I may not be bringing in the entertainment lowdown, but Deepthi has it all covered. Well, don't forget to write him to feedback at ndtv-hindu.com if you have any thoughts on Shift Focus. It's time to say goodbye now. Take care and happy partying.